Hello Sunshine, welcome back to my channel, Spooky Edition. Today I have a ghost story for you guys. Believe me or not, that's okay, but I know what I've seen. Don't forget to subscribe so you get that post notification when I upload our next video. Don't forget to follow our friend at Ruby Loop Boutique and use our code SUNSHINE10 at checkout. Let's begin the story. This story in particular is the one and only Cecil Hotel. If you're not familiar with Cecil Hotel, it is a hotel in downtown Los Angeles. The Cecil Hotel was built in 1924 by Richard Brown. It is a 15 floor hotel and it was also on Netflix. If you guys missed it, you know how we have heard stories about the Cecil Hotel and that it's haunted and stuff and then it on this particular day that we drove by the Cecil Hotel, it, I do remember it was a Sunday afternoon and this particular day we went to downtown Los Angeles because I had to go to downtown the Callejones. If you're not familiar with the Callejones, I highly recommend you find a lot of great deals, especially if you're in the party business or you're planning a party, I do recommend you shop there. Some people cannot take shopping at downtown LA because of the traffic or the parking. I do recommend if you go to downtown LA shopping, you go during the week, not the weekend. On this day that we went, it was my mom, my son Caesar, and I. It was just the three of us. It was a great sunny day from the parking lot structure where we parked. It was a two-story. I remember pointing out to Caesar, hey, there's the Cecil Hotel. Because we were only a few blocks away from Main Street which where Cecil Hotel is located at. And he asked me, mom, can we go after, can we go after? And I was like, sure, why not? I said, yes, we can go, but after. I wanted to go after I was done shopping. After we were done shopping, Caesar sat in the front seat and my mom in the back seat, and of course I was a driver. So when you go to the Cecil Hotel on Main Street, it's a one-way street. I remember I handed my phone to Caesar and Caesar was so excited because he was going to see the Cecil Hotel, which we've been watching on Netflix. I remember Caesar taking my phone and he was taking gobs and gobs of pictures. I can just, while I was driving, I can just hear the snap, 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 snap on my phone. After we passed the hotel, I got my phone back. I just drove home. After that, when we got home, rested, relaxed. That night, I got in bed, I was going through my phone because I remember Caesar taking gobs and gobs and gobs of pictures because he was so excited of seeing the Cecil Hotel in person. While I was going through these photos, I made sure because I knew, because we have heard that this place is haunted, I was going through those pictures. I was going through those pictures carefully because I didn't want to miss anything. So many pictures as well of the same thing. But that night as I was going through the pictures, I was like, what is this? What is this? As I was swiping left to right, left to right, before and after, what did I catch? What is this in the window? I remember that night I woke up my husband and I showed him, look, what is this? And he told me, no way. I was scared as what I was looking at on my phone. Did Caesar really capture this photo? The very next day when I went to work, I remember telling my coworker, look, yesterday we went to the Cecil Hotel, look what my son caught. And I was showing her the picture and she is like, she's a believer like me, see it to believe. But as I was showing her the picture, she's like, no Kim, this is something, this is something. This is not just a coincidence. I was asking her, explain to me, explain to me, how could this have happened? What benefit of the doubt, giving me the benefit of the doubt, we did not catch something, right? And she said, let me send it over to my friend, which her friend at the time was one of those paranormal investigators with the whole suitcase and all the electronics and stuff, gadgets. She had a friend that had one of those. And we sent her over the picture. And she confirmed that we captured a demon. I have never shared my picture with anyone else, meaning that I don't send this picture message, 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 message. 
I show this picture, yes, I do show it to people uh, when I do share the story, but I share them the picture from my phone. I have never passed this photo on. This is this has always been in my phone since the beginning. If you or someone you know has have had any experiences or would like to share a story with me, you guys go ahead and send it over to me in an email if you guys don't mind. I don't forget you guys to follow all our social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and now we are on threads. Until next time, bye.